Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with portfolio theory, uh, is going to detail how to calculate a two asset portfolio, but more importantly, how to calculate a minimum variance two asset portfolio. But I suppose before we can actually begin, we need to really have two assets uh, to start with before we can actually create this particular portfolio. And we need to know the characteristics of those two assets. So let's just say that we're given we're given, let's say, two assets uh, where the expected return uh, of asset one is equal to, let's say, three percent, and let's say that the variance uh, of asset, the variance of the returns of asset one, let's say, is equal to one point five percent, and let's say for asset two, okay, that the expected return uh, for asset two, let's say, is five percent, uh, with a variance, let's say, for argument's sake, of returns. Uh, let's say that that's equal to 4.2 percent okay so this is a1 and this is a2's characteristics and let's say for argument's sake that the correlation that the correlation between the returns of our of asset one and asset two is equal to minus 0 0.7 let's say for argument's sake and what we'd like to do is we'd like to create a two asset portfolio and that a uh, portfolio that's a mixture of asset one has some proportion of asset one in that and some proportion of asset two. Uh, but to actually figure out the actual mixture that will give us a minimum overall variance for the actual portfolio. Now there is a number of formulas that we can actually use to calculate this, okay? So we've without actually going into detail about the formulas, let's say the expected return, the expected return uh, of the portfolio is going to be equal to the proportion of asset one that's in it okay that's in the portfolio so the it's going to be w1 times the expected return uh, of asset one plus the proportion w2 times the expected return of asset two okay uh, so to calculate the expected return of this portfolio okay uh, we need to know what proportion of asset one is going into the mix and what proportion of asset two is going into the mix and i suppose this is what this question is really all about is trying to figure out what should w1 and w2 be to give us a minimum variance uh, to asset portfolio but really what we're interested in is we're interested in this value here the var of R of P, okay, uh, the variance of R of P. Uh, we have a formula for that. It's equal to W1 squared uh, times the variance uh, of, let's say, acid one. So it's times, I'll actually use, I'm gonna use, let's say, times the variance, let's say times the variance of R1, okay, plus W2, W2 squared times the variance of R2, okay, uh, plus it's twice W1, W2 times the correlation between R1 and R2, okay, times the standard deviation of asset one times the standard deviation of asset two. Actually, really what we're doing is we're converting the correlation value into a value of covariance, okay? So that's, this is a measure of the shared variance between both portfolios. Uh, so actually what this is gonna be, it's times the square root of the variance, and let's say just just last times, let's say the standard the standard deviation, okay, uh, of R one times the standard deviation of of R two, okay. So what we really want to do is we want to find the portfolio that has the minimum variance, okay. Uh, and to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to let's say let's start off with some possible weights for W one and W two. So let's just say that we have W one, uh, we then have W two, okay. Uh, from W1 and W2, we're going to calculate. Let's say we calculate the. Let's say we calculate the variance. Okay. Well, let's say we calculate the expected uh, value for the portfolio, the expected returns of the portfolio, and then what we can actually calculate is we can actually calculate the variance, the variance uh, of the of the returns of the portfolio. Okay. Uh, once we know W1 and W2. So let's just start off with some incremental values for W1 and W2. Let's say we put 100% into of of W 100% of asset one into the mix, which means that we'd have zero of asset two. Uh, we could have 90%, which means we have 10% of asset two. We could have 80%, which means we have 20%. We have seven. We have three. We have six. We have four. We have five. Uh, we have uh, five. Continuing in this fashion, okay, uh, we have, let's say, four, we're going to have six, we're going to have three, we're going to have uh, seven, let's say we have two, and let's say we have eight, and finally, well, not finally, let's say now we have 
one ten percent of asset one in the mix and ninety percent of asset two and let's say then zero and we have let's say a hundred percent of a hundred percent of of uh, asset of asset two okay so what we need to now calculate is we need to calculate the expected return uh, for the actual portfolio where we have w1 and w2 uh, of asset one and asset two in the mix okay uh, and actually i've actually calculated this already